I've been freelancing for almost three years now, and video editing was one of the first skills I learned before becoming a freelancer. TikTok was my practice ground, and it eventually became my portfolio. I'm not a pro, but I can offer my editing services to clients, and they're willing to pay me for it. CapCut is one of the easiest, most beginner-friendly video editing tools. It has all the features you need to create amazing social media videos. Unlike Adobe Premiere Pro, which has a steeper learning curve and is more suited for professional editors. CapCut is the perfect tool for creating content quickly and easily. So in this video, I'll show you how to edit videos for social media. And by the end, you'll be able to confidently create your own edits. And with more practice, you can even offer your video editing skills to freelance clients, just like I did. So let's get started. CapCut is a free with a paid version video editing app created by ByteDance, the company behind TikTok. So you can use it on your phone or computer. So in this tutorial, we'll focus mainly on the mobile version because it's easy to use fast and powerful. And oh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you'll get notified when I release the desktop version tutorial. Okay, so with GapCut, you can cut and trim videos you can add music and subtitles, you can insert text and stickers, you can add transitions and effects, you can remove backgrounds with the pro version, you can create auto captions with the pro version too, and you can export high quality videos up to 4K resolution. And the best part, you don't need any editing experience to use it. All right, now let's head into the tutorial. First, you need to download the CapCut app on Google Play or App Store. So let's open CapCut. So here you go. Okay, so this is CapCut's dashboard. So I'm on Pro Plan, and this is where you create a new project. It also has an auto cut, retouch. You can also enhance the quality of your video. You can create auto captions. It also has a photo editor if you want to create thumbnails for your video. So you can create it here. You can also remove background. It also has a camera and AI tools. Inside the AI tools, you have the AutoCut and the AI voiceover. All right, so let's now go with your first edit. So first, click new project to upload or import your video. So for this one, let's choose this one. So for example, we're gonna edit this. Choose a video clip from your gallery, and then let's familiarize the buttons at the bottom. So you can choose to trim. So this is your timeline where you can add edits and here the edit part where you can split, adjust the speed, put animation, put effects, delete, enhance your voice, eye contact. You can also isolate your voice, retouch and remove background. And you can also lip sync. So here you can click this if you want some parts that you don't want. All right, so for example, you can split that. You can use the split button to cut out the parts you don't want. And you can click delete to remove a split segment. All right, so this is the audio. You can use this to add sounds or sound effects. And then, so for example, we're gonna put some sound effects. CapCut here has three soundtracks and sound effects that you can use. Okay, so you can just add it there. Just click this one, for example. You can add that one. Just click the plus button and it's added here. If it's long, just drag it like that. All right, so there you go. All right, so that's how you trim, delete, and add music to your video. All right, so now let's add text and captions. So for you to add text and captions, you can just click the text button here, click add text, and enter the text that you'd like to put. So for example, you wanna put there, so let's put here my first video. You can also choose from the templates here, but let's choose first the default. All right, so now you're happy. And then you can also add a style to your font. Those are the styles that you can add. You can add as many texts as you want. You can choose the style, you can choose animations, and you can adjust the timing and position on the timeline. 
So that's how text works. So for auto captions, auto captions is available on pro feature. So like this, the trending captions. If you want to use trending captions, you can subscribe to the pro feature. And um, it will automatically generate auto captions and you don't need to type manually. CapCut will automatically generate captions from the audio in your video. So that's how the auto captions work. But if you're not subscribed to the pro plan yet, you can just manually type the captions on your video. So that's how you add text and captions. Now let's make your videos fun and engaging. Let's add some stickers, emojis, and overlays. So for you to add some stickers, just click the sticker button here and choose some free stickers. If you're on a free plan, you can just choose some free stickers. So for example, let's add this one. You can also add overlays. When you'd like to add another video on top of your video or an image on top of your main video. To add overlays, just tap overlay, then add another video or image on top of your main video. So this is great for reaction videos or showing additional footage or b-rolls. So the additional video that you will add to your main video is the b-roll. And this is your a-roll, the main video it's called the A-roll and the B-roll is the second video on top of your video. It's the overlay video, right? That's how easily you can add overlays and stickers to your video. All right, so now let's add transitions and effects. So just click the effects button here. So you can add some video effects like this one or that one. So for example, let's add this one vertical blur, click that so that's how it works and if you want to add transitions here just click animation so click that and there's like a fade in fade out so if you want to fade in for the first part right so if you want to add some fade out here just click add animations and choose out and let's put some fade out animation on the end part of the clip. So there are a lot of free choices you can choose from, like zoom in, zoom out, and the choose the duration of the animation or the transition. Animations will make your video smoother and um, dynamic. So that's how you add transitions and effects to your videos. All right, so just play around with your video and once you're happy, you can just export your video click export so you can choose the quality of your video ultra hd 2k 4k so this one's available on the pro version so you can export your video at 1080p so that's a very good quality for social media already 30 frames per second is also a smooth playback so just click export and you now have your final video so that's how it works now you're done and you're ready to upload your video on TikTok, on YouTube, and all your social media platforms, wherever you like. So bonus tip for beginners, keep it simple, don't overdo the effects, choose music that matches your video style, always preview your video before exporting, and practice consistently. Your editing will get better with time. So congratulations, and if you want more tutorials, hit that subscribe button and get updated on my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you in the next one.